Hey everyone, we have two parts to this problem. In the first part, we're looking for the amount of work that this guy did on the object as it was lifted through 17.1 centimeters. So the key thing to remember for this problem is that the work, the mechanical work done in an object, is equal to the force exerted on it multiplied by the displacement or the distance through which it was moved. If there's an angle between those two vectors, then we have to add a cosine factor into it. But we don't have to worry about it in the case of problems like this, at least now where we're told there's some angle between them. And since the force is contingent on the weight of the object, we can rewrite F as mg, the mass of the object multiplied by the gravitational acceleration. So now let's plug in the values that were given to us in the problem. So the mass is 281.5 kilograms multiplied by the gravitational acceleration, 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we're multiplying the displacement that it was moved through, which is given to us in the problem as 17.1 centimeters. But we're going to want to write this in terms of meters in order to get the units to work out. So I'm going to write 0 0.7171 meters. So if we put this into a calculator, then we find a total work done of about 472 joules. And so that is the answer to part A of the problem. Now let's talk about part B, which just asks about what magnitude of force was exerted on the object. Now we actually already kind of discussed the force in part A, because it's just going to be the weight of the object, or mg. So we're just going to multiply the mass of the object, is again, given the problem is 281.5 kilograms, and multiply that by the gravitational acceleration, g, 9.8 meters per second squared. And if we put that into a calculator, then we find a force of about 2.76, make that a little more obvious, multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 newtons. Or alternatively, if we want to do away with the scientific notation, we can also write this as 2.76 kilonewtons. And either way of writing this is a valid answer to the problem. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And that's all for now. If you have a question or a request, I have a Discord server linked in the description if you'd like to check that out. But that's all for now. I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye-bye.